Good afternoon. Uh, today is Monday. Um, <clears throat> I've been playing around with this thing on and off. Of course, the sirens have got to start every time I uh, do a video. Anyways, um, right here, there was a big root that came way out to here. And I have a huge pie bar. It's about four foot long. Bigger than that big yellow one that you saw me use on the deck when I was pulling wood up. And uh, that was bending a little bit. It's about a one inch in diameter bar. I was standing on it. Um, <clears throat> I got it out. What a job. I wanted to um, make a smaller area. In other words, I'd end up having to do a stump cover again. This is rock hard. This wood is not rotted. This tree was cut down in 93 when our mobile home was put in. The new one that we got now. So what, 30 years? If it ain't rotted out in 30 years, it won't rot out again in another 30 years. Down here, I took a tree saw and I tried to cut into that try to put my big pie bar in there. That's hard. That's hard as hell. That is not rotted. I'm huffing and puffing. I just can't do this kind of work. I was trying to make the area a little smaller and I'm going to probably in the future build a stump cover on this but right now from here to here is still four feet. I'm not making a 48 inch one. I'll just leave it the way it is. So I managed to shrink the size up, the footprint a little bit instead of coming out to here it's over to here this is hard as hell I use my four pound hammer because that's the heaviest I've got I don't own a sledge and I couldn't even pick up a 20 pound sledge weak as a cat I never owned one anyways but it, the, the, the four pound hammer just bounces off of that same with all this this is all hardwood so I was playing around with that and you know thinking about how I can get it a little smaller so I can put some kind of cover on it, make it look not only better, but, you know, but these are put in for the snow, so I don't run into them with the snowblower. But if I don't have something here, I'm liable to walk into it, clumsy as I am. Uh, over here, um, everything's looking good. Um... Pretty sure this is pressure treated, but like I say, I don't know. I went through this before, so no use repeating. APA, but that doesn't mean anything. I looked it up. The uh, Home Depot it doesn't tell you. The only way you can tell is the tag that would be on it, which was not on this wood, as I said before. Anyways, uh, we're just going to leave it that way for now. This wood is kind of greenish, but... I got one coat of boiled linseed oil on this, so that's probably why it's that way. So, <clears throat> anyways, I think uh, we're looking good. And, and by the way, that flood, by that late afternoon, it was all gone. So, it's a temporary thing, but you'd never know that it was flooded. And everything was dry inside here. Um, because after the water went down, I opened this. And everything was dry. The, the water didn't come up that high. So there's no problem. Well, folks, I normally don't want to do too much on flapping these days, but I think I'd give you a little flap uh, anyways. <clears throat> um, as I just showed you, what I've been puttering around, really. You know, it's very difficult for me to physically try to do anything with that stump. It's, it's um, as I said, that wood is hard. It's hardwood. It's oak. And it didn't really rot out very much. Only a little bit in the 30 years since it's been cut down. Although it's been um, covered with a stump cover. But that still would have been um, the same way. There's another small stump that was cut down, the tree was cut down or a little further down near, not too far from the grill uh, and the base of the screenhouse. 
uh, that was never covered, and to this day, uh, you got to be careful to don't trip into that, because that is hard as hell. So you're not going to get that wood up. The only way you're going to is with big machinery. You're not going to saw it out of there. You're not going to uh, chisel it out. It just can't be done. So anyways, but I wanted to be able to make a smaller stump cover, but I'm not going to go investing a lot of money in pressure-treated wood just for that. So it's been that way this long. We'll just leave it that way. I'm not much into gardening. I would like to be able to make, have a round, some kind of a round wooden pressure treated thing and then use it as a planter. But nothing grows around here. I, uh, when I first moved here, I tried planting tulips and uh, stuff like that and different things around the house. They didn't last. They grew for a short while and, you know, we got a lot of trees around here and a lot of shade and and the soil isn't right, and I'm not a gardener, and never was. So, uh, anyways, we'll let that table out there set for a while. Uh, it's going to be a few weeks, I guess. And then I want to make sure that the wood is thoroughly dry before I put paint on it and then seal the water in. The wood is dry now, but when it rains, then it's very damp, of course, because it rained on it. And the only thing that keeps the rain out of the edges is that white paint, which is very good. It's really holding very well, and it worked very well as the protector for the edge of the plywood. <coughs> um, what's going on around here, um, other than a lot of doctor visits, as I mentioned in the video, uh, of the flooded um, workbench, which is common whenever we get rain, and you just the next if it's sunny the next day, it's all gone. There might be a little mud there, but usually it's not bad. Um, as I mentioned in the last video, my wife fell trying to get into the car um, from the pulmonary doctor one of many doctors she has to see. And this is about the third time this year she had fallen. This year. Um, and uh, they had to call the EMTs. Uh, the doctors, and it's a medical building, but uh, they don't have the staff to pick someone up, you know. And... Um, she was trying to get into the passenger side, and her, her legs are very shaky, and she just fell backwards, and that was it. And I was behind her, and I got knocked down. I'm weak as hell anyways. I'm pretty useless, you know. I get so disgusted with myself. So I was there about a half hour. Fortunately, it was a sunny day, and she was... She hurt her foot again, which is the same foot that has the swelling and the deformity from the swelling and everything else. She has to wear special shoes, and she can't drive because, uh, you know, because of that reason, she's got special shoes that are Velcro, and so it was a sunny day, and she, it was right at the entrance of the building which is also my, our eye, eye doctor is in that same building. So the staff came out, different ones, and a couple of big guys tried to get her up, and she was just in pain. You can't, you know, hurt her. So they had to, they had to get um, uh, emergency service to come over, and they didn't have the right thing. And then another emergency service came, and they, they got her up and got her in the seat, and everything was okay, and we got back home, and that's, she got in the house, and, and that's it. So her fear of falling is, is, is very high right now. So 
luckily two of her doctors, a primary and one other doctor, she explained the situation and um, she's doing vir virtual because I told the doctor, I said, this is why she can't get out. She's falling, you know. And it's very hard to get in the minivan. The damn door don't open wide enough so I can help her in, but not that I can do very much of anything. I got no damn strength. And uh, she fell backwards and didn't hit her head, fortunately. She hit the walker and me. And um, I was okay. I got up right away, but uh, she was sitting on the pavement, which is, like I said, it's a sunny day. It was warm, and that was good because the day before it was raining. So uh, we were lucky that way. So that's a story there, and normally I don't want to talk about personal things, but I figured out. Tell you that anyways. So Mother's Day was uneventful. I wanted to take her out to Olive Garden. She likes Olive Garden for Mother's Day, but she had told me, I had said last week I want to take you out for uh, Mother's Day on Olive Garden. She says, I don't know if I can get out. But when this happened, she says, there's no way I'm going to go out. It happened last um Thursday? I don't remember. I get my days all mixed up. It was several days back. So, we ended up, as I always do, get or, an order for us as a family from Olive Garden. I did that yesterday. And that place was mobbed. It was no place to sit. So, had we gone and this didn't happen... She would have to stand, and she can't stand. She's got to lean on the walker. So, um, I feel so damn bad. I, she can't get out. It's been a couple of years since she was able to get out for Mother's Day. It's been at least two years, maybe even three. And she's so damn scared of falling, which I don't blame her. Just beside, uh, you know, accept the fact that she's just not going to be able to get out anymore, and that's that's the way it is. Her mobility is getting pretty bad. All right, enough on that. Um, her Windows 10 computer, which she uses now, um, is a Dell refurbished, a Dell Optiplex 790. Um, Last week it started going off by itself. Now, we figured it needed to be blown out with the air gun, which I did. And I have memory, and I'm not asking a computer question. I promised I will never ask another computer question again, so the comments are not going to be on in this video either. Um, I got memory from Jim Asbell a while back, and I was going to put that in, but what I did first is to blow out the computer, clean it out, and it wasn't as dirty as I thought it would be. I cleaned out the CPU really good, the power supply and everything. And what happens is, before I did this, my wife turns on the computer, and on this particular one, you got to hit F1 before you can get started on it. Okay. Which is fine. It brings up a background. And then she, when she's ready to use it, she's got to hit in a password. That's the way it was. That's the way it was when she got the thing. You know, it's not what she wanted to do, but that's the way it is. It was a refurbished Dell computer from Joy Systems, J-O-Y. And she was on the Internet looking for another refurbished Windows 10 desktop. 
This is a desktop now, full desktop. And all you got is Windows 11. I'm hearing horror stories about Windows 11. We're not going to go to it. You need a much more powerful computer. It's a nightmare to use. It's worse than Windows 10. I'm still using 7. All right. I got 10, but I don't use it that much. So blow the, all, blow the computer out, all out, but I left the side open so I can do the memory. I, I said to my wife, I'm going to go and clean it out first. I don't want to clean it out and then stick the memory in and then bring the computer back into the house. And then if it don't work, I say, is it something I did by blowing it out or is it because of the memory? So anyways, I blew, blew it out, brought it back in, left the side cover off. It's a, like I say, it's a full desktop. It's not a, a slimline desktop. It's a full width. Um, so I got the computer. I'm getting pros and cons on that too, you know. And I asked one of my friends, not pretty good on computers, but he wasn't sure either. And he told me, D don't really do it because you could damage the computer. I have, from Jim, I have two 8 gigabyte memory sticks. It takes four. As you're looking at it, and the CPU is on your left side, I'm pointing to the, my right, but it's on the left side, then you've got uh, well, the fourth one over is white. Then you got black then you got white then you got black okay nobody can answer this question which is the primary nowhere on the internet does it tell you that it tells you that you got to use either the two black slots or the two white okay but it never tells you which is the primary one because what's in there now is on the two black, you've got a black, you've got a white. As you're looking at it, CPU is sitting here. The four channels are right here. You've got a black, white, okay. A black, a white, another black, and another white. I got a four gig in the black, a two gig in the white. That's what came with it. A 4 gig in the black and another 2 gig. So I got 12 gigs in there and it's working. Okay. It originally only had 8 gigs total. So Jim gave me two 8 gigs. So I don't know whether to stick to 8 gigs. There's two of them. In the white slots where the two are, so that would be 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 gigs. All right, so what I was told, the computer, Windows 10, 64-bit system, will ignore anything over 16 gigs. Fine. However, if you look up the specs on a Dell Optiflex 790, one of them says it takes up to 32 gigs. Most of them say 16. I don't know. I was told by my friend that it could damage the computer. I was assured by other people that it wouldn't, it just wouldn't work. It sets, it'll set something in there and screw it up. And then she's got nothing. So I didn't do it. She wanted more RAM simply because her Facebook Farmville game is running slow. Personally, I don't think that has anything to do with it. I think it's Facebook and not the RAM in your computer. Okay. But whatever. She wants 16 gig. Now, if she can put... Leave the two fours in there and put the two eights in there. She'll have, what did I say, 24 gig? Or at least she'll have 16. I don't know. My question was, <coughs> do 
the two eights go in the primary, which is the black, I guess, or is the primary the white slots? The first slot nearest the processor is black. I would think that would be the primary slot. Your most memory would go there. Because that's the way I got it now. I got a, a 4 gig in one black slot and another 4 gig in the next black, uh, black slot and then a 2 gig in one in each the white slot. But I looked all over. I spent an hour on the internet looking Google. I hate computers. Honest to God, I hate them. They're so confusing. So anyways, after I blew it all out, only went down one time. Now when it went down, the cover was still off. I reached underneath there. The power supply is ice cold. All the fans are working. So why did it go out? I was looking on the internet, and it could be the power supply, but it's been working good the last two days. She's using it right now. Probably jinxed myself. <laughs> oh, I don't know, folks. A lot of frustration there, and sh my wife needs that 100%, and we don't want to go to Nightmare Windows 10 11. That's a nightmare. It's a completely different thing. I was told by somebody that really knows a lot about computers, but um, <clears throat> it's a little confusing on the primary channels on the on the thing, the black and the white. Some of them are different colors. They're not always black and white slots, you know. But right now, the computer's working good, and she's got 12 gigs of RAM in there and everything else. But she was looking for a Windows 10 refurbished on Walmart.com, and there is none. Everything is damn lousy Windows 11, and they're even talking about Windows 12. Oh, nightmare. I don't need another damn desktop computer sitting in the shed. I already got her Windows 7 on my desktop 32-bit, which works all right, but it's 32-bit. I think that's got 4 gigs of RAM in it at the most. Maybe it's got 2, I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, I figured I'd throw this video out here. I normally don't want to give a flap and everything else. Comments are going to be off, of course, and, you know. But, um, <clears throat> you know, the biggest thing is, I miss my buddy Dave. He died many, many, you know, quite a number of years ago. I I don't know when he died, but 10 years ago, I don't really know. That guy could fix anything. He was into DOS. He was into, I said said this before, he had all the computers, he had DOS, he had Windows 95, Windows 98, he had Windows XP, he has had Linux, he knew all of it. And he died before Windows 7 came out. So he was still on XP when he died. So that's how long ago he's been gone. That guy knew everything. Well, he was the head of the computer center also, so people came to him to ask questions. <laughs> I, I I miss Dave. He was, a, he was my best buddy, but uh, he used to get mad at me because I uh, asked him a question. He talked so damn fast and so high tech. I knew less, and more confused after he told me the answer. I can't absorb things like that. I can't. I have to be shown over and over and over again. That's why. I, I don't ask questions on the computers, on, the, on anywhere, on the forum or on YouTube, even when I had my comments, because people have tried to help me when they give me the advice, and when I go to do it, it don't work. Honest to God, I try what they tell me, but it don't work. So, in my case, I can't be taught. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. So, when things get too confusing, it's going to cost $100, $200. Go down to the damn computer store. There's only one in town, and he's not cheap. 
And he changes everything in the damn computer, so when you get it back, you can't figure out how to use it. I hate that. I have a certain way of using a computer. And when you make a change, just like with Windows 10, they have a completely different filing system where you put your videos and stuff in there. Then Windows 7 and Windows XP, they'll put pretty much alike. The best system I found so far is Windows 7. Windows XP always kept giving me script errors all the time. I don't even know what the hell they are. But I used to get an error message on script errors. I don't know what they are. And I don't want to even know. <laughs> but anyways, the best, uh, best computer systems that were ever made is Windows 7. And I'll stay with it as long as I can. As long as I can. Tommy is used to 10. He's got the shuttle. My wife is used to it, but she don't do what I do. She don't do videos. She does pictures. And when I try to back up her system, I can't figure it out. I can't find this. I can't find that. You know, it's different from the way I have mine set up. We all set up our computers differently. I set it up the old way. That's the only way I can do it. I've been told and that's not how you do it in 10. It's like in my documents is where I put everything. I was told don't do that on Windows 10. You know, even though you got a folder in my documents, you got videos, music, and pictures. Well, that folders, those folders are already in there. I simply click on my videos and then I make a new folder in my videos called Bill's videos and that's why I put all my videos in the same way with pictures and the same way with music that is the way I do it it's logical because the folders are there but I was told and I tried doing it that way, and it's I gotta stumble all over trying to find it. Bill users something or other, and I gotta look through menus and sub menus and oh. oh. So I went back to the old way on my Windows 10 shuttle. So I'm sorry, that's just the only way it'll work for me. So I find myself using Windows 10 99.9 percent .9 of the time. Windows 7. And uh, Windows 10 is faster, that particular computer is faster than my Windows 7, even though my Windows 7 has 16 grand, uh, um, gigs of RAM, the processor is faster in the shuttle, and the it'll, Windows Movie Maker will just fly right through it, uh, making a, a video. Uh, anyways, I've talked long enough. I wasn't going to make a long flap like this, so we're going to call it a long, boring flap, I guess. I don't know. We'll find something to call it. So I wanted to give you an update on things. So uh, we're just doing things one day at a time, and that's all we can do. You know, Tommy and I are helping as much as possible. And uh, a lot of the stuff, you know... We just go out and get something to go. We get Chinese, and I go and get it and, or have it delivered. Uh, uh, once a week, we go get pizza, bring it home, and, you know, and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, my wife can't stand long enough, even though she's got the walker. She can't. Her legs get shaky, and she has to sit down. If she don't, she'll fall. So, you know, I'm very, 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 very worried about her. Very worried. This is why it shows, and you know. So I'm going to end the video now. You don't need to be hearing any more depressing things. But I did want to put out a video, and like I said before, I I'm not going to be doing very many flaps, but I wanted to get this one out to you. So you take care, folks. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you watching my videos and giving me those likes. Take care, everybody.